or in the middle of winter, so it makes sense, but I have my snowman sweatsuit on and then my robe that Robbie got me for Christmas. I had been asking, I've been saying for months that I had wanted a robe and so he got me one for Christmas and it even has my name on it and it was literally called, it was some like acronym, it was like NAP, so it's like called NAP, which is amazing because it is so comfy, but anyways, woke up late today. Today is my day off. I have a day off in the middle of the week because I work part-time. So um, today is a day off, but I have a lot to do today. I'm gonna clean up the office. I have an Old Navy try-on haul that I wanna share with you, and then also an Aldi haul that I wanna share with you. Um, I meant to film this this weekend, but this weekend just got so crazy, and then I got really burned out <laughs> in the last couple of days. So today's gonna be a little bit slower, and um, I wanna show you guys all of that. And <clears throat> currently drinking Irish breakfast tea with a little bit of coconut milk. I've been really liking this over coffee lately. I don't know, I feel like the coffee, the acidity of the coffee has really like hurt my stomach lately and I haven't really been craving it, but I do like that like morning drink and this tastes like nice and rich. And I put a little bit of maple syrup when I frothed my um, coconut milk, not water, <laughs> coconut milk. Um, so it's really good. This has been my new favorite go-to drink, but I need I'm almost out of English breakfast tea So I just wanted to do like a day in the life because I Because why not I figured that and this is like a day off because if I were to show you a day in the life of work It would be me at home working the whole time <laughs> I braided my hair. I took a bath last night and I just wet my hair I braided it like super loosely because I've been really into everybody's um, Like beach wave crimper hair. I don't have a crimper right now So I thought I'd try and do my own. Oh, and it, here it comes So I'll take you along on this journey to see how these waves turn out I tried to make it really loose because I always get they always get really tiny at the end of your braids so try to keep it really loose so that the um wave is even throughout so we'll see how this turns out i do this all the time in the summer but since everyone seems to be doing their beach waver now it seems like the way to be oh also i'm doing vision boards with my mom today we're gonna make vision boards for the new year and um just envisioning what we want and just some beautiful things we want to bring into our lives so i'm gonna do that this afternoon and so it's gonna be a packed day but like packed with things that i want to do so i'm really really excited about it i'm gonna take you guys along also, I need to put on some makeup. Look at these under eye circles. Oh man. This is my probably favorite purchase of 2019. I made this whole thing actually, it's kind of a mess. So I added these two drawer shelves. They're literally coming in a two pack from Amazon. I'll link it in the notes for this video. It's so great, it fits like most of my makeup. I won't say all of it, but I need to find like another little shelf to go over here, I think. Um, but so convenient, great for this like tiny little corner of my room by the, um, window so we get good natural lighting and then also this little ditty I got from Amazon as well it's great for like traveling and not that I've taken it traveling this year but <laughs> um it's been so great for doing my makeup in the morning so then I don't have to take over the bathroom all these mirrors it's got like all the different and it changes coloring which is really fun so it'll go from like yellowy to more blue which is amazing. It's been so fun to have this like fancy mirror to do my makeup in every day. I love it. Okay, so I'm ready to do my hair. I've got this beach babe. It smells, it's called tropical banana and it smells like summer. So I'm gonna spritz that first. I use this in the summer all the time and I like that it doesn't make it crispy and it almost kind of loosens the waves at the same time. snowing and it's it's 
magical. It's so funny because I was thinking yesterday that it's been so cold, I just wish it would snow because then at least it would be pretty. And it did, and it's beautiful. Manifested that. <laughs> put away all my Christmas stuff. These piles have just been sitting here. <laughs> it's horrible. But I'm gonna put away all of that today and all of this is from like photo shoots and like nonsense and I just haven't taken the time. But I want my rack back. <laughs> and yes, I'm catching up on The Bachelor while I do this. So dramatic. Oh, well. This is such a mess. <laughs> which is awesome. Anyways, obviously continuing the vlog that I had started yesterday and today just because at the end of the night I had like started to like finish up cleaning the office and I was just so exhausted. I've been so tired lately. The winter always gets to me and I'm sleepy because it's dark and so here we are day two. Right now I'm gonna show you a little bit of like an Aldi haul. I wanted to show you the whole Aldi haul on Sunday but again it just it just didn't happen. So what I want to do now is show you my favorites because I've been really missing Trader Joe's and from after you know living in New York for years Trader Joe's is my go-to and so now switching over to Aldi which I really like which they're owned by the same company so they have some similar products but I just wanted to show you some of my favorites. I have all of my things all around. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna share with you, I have my um, Irish breakfast tea. Um, I'm just gonna share with you some of my favorites. So this week I got, this is something that I like have to have <laughs> in my fridge at all times. Um, I remember when it first came out, Trader Joe's, and they like would run out of it in like a second because it came out around Thanksgiving and so I would always stock up with like two so Robbie makes fun of me that I like stockpile them but like you never know when they're going to be gone so I always have this for like my coffee hot chocolate just like in general because it is coconut whipped cream it does not have pea protein in it which is something I'm allergic to and it is out in a lot of like vegan milk or creamer brands so this is great it does have a little bit of sugar in it but worth it it's so good and i think it's 2.99 and i don't have my receipt so i don't have the exact prices last week i spent i think maybe 50 dollars and got i can't even tell you like so much stuff like massive bags of like this potato bag we've used probably three-fourths of it already no <laughs> one-fourth of it <laughs> one-fourth of it already and this was 2.99 from aldi potatoes are the greatest food so like stock up on them and then um, I'm always surprised by their like health food section. Robbie and I are slowly kind of leaning into plant-based, more plant-based eating. Um, so we do still have like a lot of stuff. When we made this decision, we had like a bunch of like frozen meat and all of these things, so, and egg whites. So we're doing it slowly, but Aldi has some really great options. They had some really great frozen vegan meats that um, we got that were, they had these kale veggie burgers, which were kind of like potato pancakes that are so good. Well, let me show you. My phone decided to stop recording, so I'm gonna go back. These kale quinoa burgers in their um, frozen section were delicious. Um, they kind of taste like potato pancakes. I also got some of their vegan chicken tenders. They were not my favorite, not great texture, but you know, we're trying. And then these are my favorite. They're little mini peppers. They're the best for snacks. I will like chop off the tops and chop them lengthwise so that they can be like good dippers for guacamole or hummus or just like in general. I found that it's so helpful for me to have healthy snacks and like vegetables prepared in my fridge and pantry so that way when I'm going to snack, I know if I'm really hungry, if I'm reaching for the vegetables. If I'm just snacking for like comfort, you know, I'm gonna want cookies. So <laughs> it's just helpful to have all that prepared. I'm gonna get back to meal prepping, which maybe I'll do a vlog about it because it'll motivate me <laughs> to 
get back into doing it because it's so helpful to be prepared for the week. This giant thing of oats, rolled oats from, from Aldi. It's super cheap, all four of us. Like I said, I think it was like $2.99 for this giant thing. And then I have all my other little healthy options over here. I've had these for a while. I didn't just get these, they last forever. But I was surprised that they had like flax meal seed, which is super, super great. It's a great source of fiber. I throw it in my um, smoothies and in my oatmeal a lot of the times just to get a little extra fiber. And then also chia seeds. This is one thing that I didn't think I would find all day, and yet I did. Um, this was in their baking section. And these will last me for so long. I've already had these for probably like two weeks. And like you can see that I barely use them. Again, I always, I try to use these in my oatmeal and my smoothies because I don't use a traditional protein source anymore because most vegan proteins have pea protein in them, which gives me a horrendous stomach ache, which is really sad because it tastes really good. Um, and I'm also allergic to whey protein. And um, so the chia seeds in my daily diet really help to add a little bit of protein. And then also, so I've obviously had these for a minute too. The nut section at Aldi is, well, nuts you can see upside down and it's backwards. Um, fantastic. My grandpa used to swear by their raw nuts. Like he would only get them there. Um, so these are really great because nuts can get really expensive. Even if you buy the bulk pack at Costco, which is what we normally do. But this has been a much more cost effective um, moment for us. Walnuts are really good for like your hair and your skin. So walnuts in my oatmeal, and then I have pecans as well, but they're really, really great prices. I was really impressed with their juice section. So I got this on 100% black cherry juice. So literally the only ingredient ingredients are filtered water and black cherry juice concentrate, which is awesome. So because I haven't really been drinking either, I just haven't really wanted it. And I kind of want to keep my mental clarity this time of year because I do get so sad um, with, you know, seasonal depression -ness. And so I thought this would be a great thing to add and like make some little mocktails. I'm loving having like a little concoction every day and also throughout the day. Um, I like to have a lot of different fun ways to hydrate and so I'm really excited about this. They also have pomegranate juice and I was just really impressed. I got these artichoke hearts. I've been putting these in our pasta. Um, it makes, it's a really, really great flavor because artichoke is already good. So like adding these and like some pitted olives with like a bunch of vegetables in your pasta, delish. And I showed these on my Instagram, but these are really, really good. That's um, sparkling water with caffeine and electrolytes and it's citrus green tea, which I don't know if anyone remembers the like Lipton green teas that were like, at least I want to say they were trending, but like in high school, it was like everybody had those. Those were my favorite thing. I used to like swear by them before an audition when I first started auditioning in New York because it just felt like it like, I'm assuming it might've been the sugar like on my cords. I don't know, which just sounds wrong, but it always just felt like it made my voice like, roar so maybe i'll start singing again because lord knows i haven't in a while this time of year i've noticed this year especially i always just like want spring after um christmas which i know it's way far from now but having like these like tropical drinks really gives me a little a little lift me up a little pick me up a little pick me up okay so i basically only drink decaf coffee i'm really sensitive to caffeine so i got these and i have a keurig because i'm the only one in our house that drinks coffee i got the single cup keurig and i really love it because it is nice because i can only make one cup at a time um but i can never find decaf in like good flavored coffee so this is the donut shop blend decaf um from aldi and it's delicious it's really really good so on top of being fun this i love digestive um i'm not gonna call them issues digestive my digestive journey is diverse, let's say that. Um, so one thing that I've been trying to avoid is gluten. Um, it just, just, it helps me feel a lot better. It definitely seems to help my digestion when I avoid it. So, and I found these spinach gluten-free wraps at Aldi. Like, come on, and they are, they're so great. I've been making little like breakfast wraps with them with like vegan cheese and egg whites and all that. Also, so for me, chatting, so these are really great. And one of my, it's got dirty. One of my favorite things is the chocolate section at Aldi. So if you are someone who can have dairy, they have a lot of options. They have all these options from different countries. I believe that the company that owns Aldi and Trader Joe's is a European company. Um, so they have some really, really fun options, but then they also have a couple decent amount that are dark chocolate that do not have any sort of dairy or like milk dust in them. They always have these ingredients that are like milk, milk byproduct or whatever 
This does not. So this is the dark chocolate sea salt, also the 72% dark chocolate, and then the dark chocolate and mint are all dairy-free. So those are mostly my Aldi favorites. The next time I go, maybe I'll do an actual like Aldi haul because I've been really loving it. It's one of those places that I kind of felt the same about Trader Joe's that like allows me to get really creative with like my shopping because you know, I'm seeing things that I'm, I don't expect and then I'm also finding things that I wouldn't normally find at such a low price and so I'm able to like use more things. So I want to show you more of that. Also, now I'm going to show you my cute outfit because I have a whole Old Navy haul that I want to show you guys um, of some loungewear. Okay, so I made a decent amount of headway on my office cleanup, but still in the midst of it. I also think I'm gonna do a second YouTube video of like a full organization overhaul um, because it's something I wanna do. And again, it will motivate me to do it. Figured I might as well take you along for the process because I did also just get the home edit book. So I'm ready to like dive in and delve in and like clean up my space and like really organize and also like purge because I collect things <laughs> not purposefully really just like I have so much stuff so let me show you a little bit of our progress and then I'll do the the try on so I think I'm gonna move the desk like into this corner because it's the lighting is just better if the desk is on this wall whereas this like the lighting reflects on it and it's terrible but I like having this wall open to shoot on because I have the most like range here so I want to do and I want to do a lot more videos so I think keeping this open is oh my gosh my chip nails ugh, is a uh, way to go and then I still have to clean up this little area I think I might get like a, a long um dresser my parents have a couple from the house they're renovating which can be a whole other youtube video because i'm sure you'd love to see it um because i just think that would like fit better and then obviously have to organize all of my accessories i have these little jewelry trays that i had in this drawer but i felt like it was taking up unnecessary space so i'm gonna try and make these cute and then this is all the stuff a lot of the stuff i put on my desk and then some extra jewelry i don't know how to do with my belts hopefully home edit will help and then my little clothing rack which I super love. And then my vision board that I made yesterday, it makes me feel so good and so happy. I'm I'm so happy that I did that. My mom and I um, sat down and did this for a couple hours. And it was just so inspiring and funny to see the similarities, similarities between hers and mine, but it just gives me the vibe. Okay, so outfit number one, I think might be my favorite. Um, this is these long wide leg pants. Um, all of this is from Old Navy PS. So these wide leg pants that I've been loving lately, I feel like they make me, it's not something I would have normally gravitated towards, but like I feel like they make me feel very tall and long, which is super nice because I'm only 5'3". Um, and then it has this shirt with these little like balloon sleeves, which is a really fun little detail, which I think would make it really cute for like dressing up. So you could wear this like with your jeans, tucked into jeans or like with leggings. Um, not always as matching bottoms, but I love these. They're so cozy. I've honestly worn this for about two days in a row so i tend to order smaller in old navy but this one i went with like my regular size that i order generally um because i didn't want it to be super super fitted so but i think the fit is really nice okay and then i have this velvet tracksuit that i to be completely honest, I'm not as crazy about it as I want it to be. Um, it's a really, really soft material. It's a little thinner than I thought it would be. And then this light pink is completely see-through, um, which I normally don't mind because I wear a lot of nude undergarments anyways, but I just like, you can see the pockets. I think in another color, they had this in a really pretty kind of like river blue. I made that color up. <laughs> um, this really pretty blue that I think would be beautiful, but I wanted to get something that would be kind of cute for like Valentine's Day, but I don't know if I'll be keeping this one, but really, really soft again with that cute little like balloon sleeve detail. If you like something like lighter, this might be really nice to sleep in this time of year because it's super soft and it's light. I was hoping it would be a little bit heavier and warmer, but I still think it's really cute. Again, I would probably get a darker color um, just because I'm not, I'm not a big fan, but we tried. Okay, and this one I've shown on Instagram before. I've already worn this top a whole bunch. I love this 
color scheme lime green is like my favorite color i love teal too but lime green i think has my heart and especially like i said this time of year i'm always craving spring so this gives me that little bit of spring while being comfy for work from home and then also just like bright and <laughs> happy colors don't go exactly together but this these pants which i'll link um these pants do have a matching sweatshirt i just liked this thermal better because i figured i felt like i would use it more and i had a really cute look the other day which i was posting on my instagram where i tucked this into some jeans did a little french tuck into some jeans um with like high-waisted boots and a fun little hat and it just was really cute and felt like really vibrant um it's really soft it's almost like it feels almost like terry cloth but is a little thinner than that so like terry cloth is like towel material um so it feels sort of along that so i feel like this would be really cute beachwear for like a beach cover up oh my god i want a beach i want to be at a beach so bad as you can tell by my <laughs> my vision board dreaming of a beach i'm a pisces i'm a water baby i just would be in the water all the time it's a nice like oversized like tunic fit which is really fun so if you want to wear it over leggings you get a little bit of coverage there if that's something that you like perfect for winter leading into spring okay and i've shown this one before but this i think is my favorite this is not from this haul i've had this for a while i got this i think during black the black friday sales um but this is like the waffle knit i ordered it a size up than i normally do to have an oversized fit i feel like it would still have an oversized fit if you ordered in your regular size because that's kind of how it's made but it is so 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 cozy um it's my favorite literally like favorite i think tea of the winter that i've had it's it's like a nice waffle knit i haven't been able to snag the matching pants there's a matching pair of joggers in this material like how perfect they also have it in like a leopard print and then i think a gray and a navy which would be really cute but i am obsessed with it i wear it with jeans i wear it to bed i wear it to work work from home um with like everything because it's that perfect like cream color i love it it is definitely a little bit see-through but i don't mind that i usually wear like a nude um bra underneath or my even my black bra i don't feel like it shows like obnoxiously but really cozy okay i had recorded a whole moment in this but for some reason it didn't save but anyways it's just super cute super cozy and i can't wait to wear it more you're gonna see a lot more of this for like your valentine's day content because i love valentine's day in the colors but anyways super cute i love it if it's still available i'll link it i think it's such a cute option okay i kept trying to record this earlier but my phone kept running out of storage so I'm trying to figure that out but it's been a good day and thank you guys for coming along i hope you enjoyed i want to do more of this like lifestyle content i have some ideas um for me and robbie as well because um i have fun with him and i want to share that with the world and sorry my dishwasher is going so i really loud <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, thank you guys so much for watching um, look out for more YouTube content to come soon let me know what you like to see if there's anything any type of content you want or things that you enjoy getting an insight on um, I think it's fun to connect and get a little sneak peek a little sneak peek a little peek of people's lives um, so thank you so much I'm gonna tune in I've got my little moon juice um, concoction and I'm gonna go take a bath and relax you guys have a great one.